we're back in the shop. Got to clean corn out of the planter, change seed plates, and we're going to start planting soybeans for seed bean production. That means beans that other farmers will be planting next season. Dad's getting the seed tender ready to go. We'll fill that and then uh, fill the planter here and then have more to refill in the field out of the wagon. Refuel. So first beans of the year going in. Some different conditions. This will be our first field of soybeans and it is all cereal rye cover crop. So getting ready to go ahead and plant into that and then I'll be jumping across the road. Also no-till but no cover crop. See if dad wants to tell me anything here. He was out there digging my first couple passes. So we switched crops, switched conditions. We'll make sure we're getting the right depth. So dad thought the depth was good but row cleaners could be doing more, some more down pressure. So up that did another pass, we get a bunch of warnings. So got out and looked, had two airlines uh, come undone. Uh, one was pulled out of the T, blowing air out of it instead of into the row cleaner, which affects the whole system because it's all connected. And another one, uh, I lost a, a splice in it apparently, but that's why I got a box of splices in here just in case. So put one of those little connectors on and now we're holding air pressure, good to go. So as far as planting into conditions, we've got cover crop here everything else is no-till and it's not early but so we like to plant beans early so that'd be mid to late april well the weather didn't allow for that it's been wet uh, this is only our third day of planting it's may 4th so we started on the second we planted again yesterday and now we switched to beans some cornfields were fit first so we did those now we're on beans but it's still a little bit wet we do have some heat but next week is looking pretty wet today's saturday starting monday looks like rain almost every day next week or at least a 50 percent chance of it so these beans might be laying wet for a little while or out here in this cover crop that's why we're using something like saltro seed treatment from syngenta that helps us with our uh, early season stresses getting those plants up out of the ground uh, also helps with uh, cyst nematode and sudden death syndrome, which we've seen some more of in the last few years. In fact, the next field I'm going to plant across the road, we have what I thought was a, a magnesium deficiency a couple years ago. It turns out we had sudden death turning up. Uh, the next year we had a little more in some other field. So these seed beans that we're planting, I've got Saltro on them. And when I say seed beans, what that means is most of the beans we raise are for a seed company for seed production so these are the seeds other farmers will raise next year so the quality is really important on these these have got to be top quality and the better beans they are the cleaner they are the better shape they're in the more i get paid so that's where we want to protect these beans early on and saltro is a part of that this year in fact the seed company we grow for recommended putting those on. They've been doing some of their own testing. Oh, got a warning here, check that. Get out and check row 10 here in a second. But the seed company we grow for, or they've been messing with some different treatments and um, they found some yield bumps uh, using Saltro. So they suggested that on the options we had this year. So we're giving it a try, see how it goes. Uh, just a plugged central fill tube on one row, no big deal. Just Pound on the hose a few times, got the seed coming through. This is the first time we're using the central field this year. We were using the, the row unit boxes on corn. So hot, humid day, first time, trying to load it up with some extra talc and graphite, get it slicked up. So occasionally uh, that happens, not unexpected. So no big deal. Dinner and liquids have arrived. Tenderloin sandwich from our niece's 4-H Rabbit Club fundraiser. I forgot about that. That's good. Last pass in the second field here. My refills here. Looks like Dad has help. Hey, buddy. Reload time. We got extra help. I got no saturated beans going in. Are you helping? Yeah. Yeah. So fast forward. We were out here planting on May 5th. Today's June 2nd. So we're out here looking at this field. We planted green. You can see the cover crop is all burned down, starting to melt down a little bit. Hoping that uh, lays down between the rows as the beans come up. Make a nice mat, prevent some weeds from coming through later on in the season, and preserve moisture as the hot summer sun doesn't contact the soil directly. It's kind of got that mat of cover crop on top of it. So 
we finished planting everything on May May 22nd. Yeah, May 22nd. Started on on the 2nd of May. Finished May 22nd. So it took us about three weeks to do everything. Um, seemed like we had a, a lot of short days or just a bunch of rain delays and stuff. We had about four tenths here yesterday, which now now we want rain that all the crops are are coming up and they seem to be up good for the most part. So um, bring on a little more rain and. Um, you see it's kind of gloomy today uh it's supposed to be pretty warm tomorrow like 85 tomorrow get some more of those hot sunny days really really be pushing these crops they've got all, all the moisture they need right now so let's keep that going pull a couple of beans out here and you can see this is a good sign see those little balls on the roots those are nodules formed by bacteria that's what helps the soybean plants fix their own nitrogen something corn doesn't do so it's good to see those out here early doing their job you know, we talked about having that Saltro seed treatment on there, especially we didn't get these beans out as, as early as we'd like. It's, it's good to be treated if you're out early, but they have some stuff in them. Get these beans popped up and out of the ground, get things canopied, because the next thing I'm going to be looking at, now the planting is all done and, you know, we've had all the burn down passes done. What's the next flush of weeds that's coming to look at that? So getting the beans up and canopied is important because the more ground they cover, the more sunlight they block and help with the weeds. The sooner the soybeans can close canopy, the better job they do of taking care of the weeds themselves. And you can see we do have a ways to go on, on canopy. So uh, it's gonna be a while before we get there. And we are on 30 inch row spacing. We plant with the same planter we plant corn with. Have contemplated uh, the last few years switching to narrow rows, just have, haven't done that yet. If we get them out early, um, they can get close to canopy this time of year, but uh, obviously we're we're not there yet. So if we were down to 20 or 15 intros, we'd be we'd be a lot closer. So that's something to consider. But time to start scouting for weeds. The corn we planted for a couple days before we came to this field. This was the first soybean field we planted this year. Actually, uh, got the nitrogen applicator out and side dressed all of that. Um, let's see. This is Sunday. Uh, did that Friday and did a small little uh, 40 some acre field yesterday. Kind of in a holding pattern now. Um, a lot of the corn's not real big yet. Got maybe one more field we might do tomorrow if it gets dry enough. It's looking pretty wet right now, so I'm not sure we're going to do that. But the next couple days, I want to get a really good look at everything because uh, the wife, the kids, and I are going on vacation for 10 days here starting in a couple days. So a lot's going to change while I'm gone. I want to make sure we got handle on weeds, order any spraying done if that needs done. If not, we're going to take a trip, come back. The crop's going to be a lot bigger and fuller when we get back and side dress the rest of the corn. And before you know it, it'll be time for wheat harvest. I may have a sprayer come make a quick pass just on the end row of this field. So you see you got all the cover crop out there. Not much showing for weeds out there, but here on the end, maybe uh, somewhat due to compaction and maybe coverage from the airplane dropping the cover crop, not great on the end dandelions are kind of taking over here right there where there is cover crop not much showing for weeds out here on the end where there's less competition got some dandelions going crazy other than that i'm anxious to get going on our vacation and you know the crops seem like they grow slow when you're looking at them every day so leaving actually leaving the country for 10 days um, things are going to look a lot different when we get home so look forward to seeing you on the other side